Hi guys, I'm back. Um, hope you like this video. I hope this one does better than the ones before. I'm still learning. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, here we go. Have a question. Does anybody on Ben Hill Road or the people they hang out with know how to tell time? Because the story of the phone call that Candace receives at Walgreens the time and the place that she receives that phone call just constantly keeps changing. Now, Hunter says in his interview with Chris McDonough that Candace gets to his house about 10 or 10.30. And who's with her that Just day? someone. Just someone. Okay. Not the entire day until we pick up the grandma. Okay, what time do you remember? I know you're not good at times. Guesstimate. A guesstimate time that we pick up the grandma? No, no. The time she pulls up that morning. That should have been like around 11, right? Okay. Or 10 or No, just from your memory. Not from mom. This girl was at least 10 because I I was up all night. And it could be wrong, too, right? Okay, so let's just kind of put that right there, okay? Okay. So, they go and they pick up Grandma from the hospital, which is a, a few minutes from Allie's house. They get Grandma from the hospital. Takes 10 minutes. I don't see how, but he says it takes 10 minutes to get to Walgreens. Okay, they're sitting in line at Walgreens. They're sitting in line waiting. It takes about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes is what he says, to get up to the window. Well, while they're waiting... Don supposedly calls. Okay. Oh, okay. So she go. So from here, where do you guys go? From here, we go to the hospital. Okay. Pick up her mother. Pick up grandma. Not even like ten minutes later. Okay. We go to Walgreens. Is that near the hospital? No, it's on uh, Fort Henry Drive. Okay. So it's the Walgreens by. The uh, Warrior Park. Yeah, that, that one is you come out and it's right there. Yes. Okay. Not bad for an old man, huh? No, not really. Not bad, not bad. I'm cooking here. So there's a. So we went there. You go there first. And then after you pick up grandma. Yeah. Then what happened? And then we put this prescription in. Okay. Which is like probably like 10, 15 minutes. Cause Do you know what kind of drugs? No, I have no idea. She oh. wouldn't say the name to it. Got it. And then we handed the prescription. They said about like 10, 15, well, it's going to be 30 to 35 minutes. Okay. Well, I was saying the line was long. Okay. Because you have a... Who of, went inside the store? Nobody went in. We went through the drive through Got it. The drive through And then while we were in the drive through her husband calls her talking about this dude named... On the property that's been there for like a week or so, she told me, they keep stalking other kids. Who's that? So from the time they leave his house to get to the hospital to pick up grandma, that's just a few minutes. From brand, uh, from the hospital to Walgreens is 10. They're waiting in line, so let's give it 10 minutes. Uh, so that would be a total of maybe 30 minutes. So if they left Hunter's house, say 10.15, Went to the hospital, went to Walgreens, that's a total of 30 minutes. So that's still 15 to 11, maybe 11 o'clock. Okay, next you're going to hear Candace's interview with Chris Madonna, where she acknowledges that she did receive the phone call, but in her version, they leave the hospital, they go across town or wherever it's located, but they go to the hippie house and the smoke shop first, which I'm sure that you're not going to spend more than 15 minutes in either place. So you've got a few minutes to the hospital, 10 minutes across town, 15 minutes in each spot. So we're still looking, pushing it, maybe 11.15 or 11.30 by the time they get to Walgreens. She still says that she got the phone call at Walgreens from Don. That's still before 11.30. Hippie house next door. Right. 
next door. Okay. Well, no, they're kind of once, once further down by the mall. The smoke shop's further down by the mall where I got that seat. And the hippie house is just right over here before you cross over the bridge. Got it. Okay. So the the smoke shop where you bought the uh, we went to the, we went okay we went to the hospital right and picked up my mom right and then we stopped at the smoke shop and I got mom that piece of tea that she wanted and then I stopped at the hippie house and got me some smoked nicotine base is what I got okay what and flavor. I think they were Skittles. Okay. Because that's kind of like. Do they, do they have like a different taste? They, they actually taste like Skittles. Okay. That's the only kind I'll buy. Okay. <laughs> and then we left from there and we went, went straight down to Walgreens and we took, went to the dresser. But we, after we were done at the hippie house, I, I think we bought three of them, I think. I believe. And I sat them right there on the council and he asked for one. I said, no, you can't have them. Did he take one? I don't know. Okay. Honestly, God, I don't. Okay. But then we went to the Walgreens and dropped off Mom's prescription. I said, well, if we got to wait 30 minutes, why don't we just bring Summer down here and let her play for a little bit? Okay. And that's what we did. Okay. I mean, there was nothing. I honestly didn't see him doing nothing down here. I don't know what he's talking about. I really don't. All right. So it's your word against his, basically. Pretty much. Okay. On this scenario right yes. here. Okay, so from here, where do you guys go? Walgreens. Allegedly, that Hunter says came in. Well, he said there was a call that Don made to you while you were in line at the prescription. Did that happen? He called me and asked how everything was going. Okay. And I assumed we were going to be home. Okay. Hunter, Hunter relates that he mentioned to you that Don had said something about somebody around the property. Is that true? That is so Sorry to say, but that's, that's a bunch a, of bulls. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And so where, what, where is... I don't think you get upset for one shot. No, no, you're like that. And you are. Okay, in the next clip that you're going to hear, which was Don's interview with the behavioral panel, he states that he made the call to Candace, but that it was while they were at the swimming hole. And so the, the time frame there is sort of off because they went to the swimming hole after they dropped the prescription off at Walgreens, which would have made it after 1130, closer to 12. But still, just a change of location, change of time when the phone call was made. And I was just sort of crying. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. And not knowing is tough, I'm sure. Yeah. I can tell you from experience, I feel what you feel. Appreciate it. Yeah. I, that's, I'm sorry for you. Well, uh, I've been constantly full of control. What did, what did Candace say about that, that about that morning? That she would, what was she doing? Um, you know, I hadn't really heard from her except for she had to go to town to fill her mom's prescription. And uh, so I called. At some point, so I was going to go home, and she said, well, we're still going to wait for the prescription. And what was she getting? Uh, like something for her mother. I can't remember. You know, the prescription was. I can't remember. Um, but so there was at the lake, and then Hunter, Hunter, and his, I guess they went. She called and says, come by the house, you know. Okay, so in the next clip, which is Chris McDonough reviewing his interview with Candace, and he states in that um, video that, from his understanding, that the phone call was made about 1.30 when she was dropping off the prescription or while she was at Walgreens. I'm not sure if she was dropping it off or picking it up when, supposed, when the supposed phone call came in. But it was at 1.33 um, still. Different time, different place. Okay. Well, because Candace had to go get Hunter and come back to the hospital and pick up Grandma. Because she just said all three of them got out of the car. Okay. So that could be true. But what she didn't tell us and what we don't know is her going back to pick up grandma so once she did and this is when they went to get the prescription okay 
okay, and dropped it off. Okay. And we know that time frame was around 1.33. Okay. But she left at 8 in the morning, at the, and she's at the hospital. Okay. Everybody tracking me here? Let me see in uh, the chat. Okay, and the the following picture that I'm going to show you is a screenshot of the conversation that Don had with Chris McDonough, where he states that he made the phone call to Candace around 3 o'clock that evening, you know, right before the last picture of Summer was taken at 3.09, and he was checking with her and found out that because they were so busy running around at the lake and, and picking up prescriptions and such that he figured that they would work late. They would just stay and work late and get in what he could get done that day. Now, time the, the time here is again in question. At 3 o'clock, where was she really at? Was she at the lake? Was she on her way home? Well, the picture proves that she was driving down the road at 309. So why is he lying about it? Um, another thing in question is, he says, we, we will work late. Thought he was working by himself because remember, he fired Dudley the day before. So he was supposed to be on the job by himself. Unless Hunter was telling the truth about the boys being with him. And how old's your older? He'll be 13 in September. Okay. So was he babysitting? Well, technically they weren't really, they were watching TV and sleeping at the same time. Okay. And I was just gonna run out for a second and we never even planned, I didn't even plan for Hunter to even be with us that day at all. Got it. All. Got it. He just called me and was like, you wanna come over for a second? I was like, yeah, I'll come over for a second, but I gotta get right back tomorrow. And that was all it was, was a quick second thing. Got it. And he's like, Mom, can I go with that? And so she pulls up, she gets out the car with Summer, and supposedly the kids went to work with the father. And so. Now you say the kids. Who are the kids? Wyatt and Josie. So the boys. Yeah, the boys. They went to work with Don. That's what I was told. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Anyways, guys, like I said, it was just a bunch of questions with no answers, just like this whole case has been for seven months now. That poor little angel has not been found, and nobody has any answers. Everybody has their theories and, and their ideas and what they think happened, but nobody has come up with any surefire answers yet. Can't wait to hear what you have to think about it. Let me know. Until next time.